Welcome back. Here we are in this new track. We haven't drove this, driven this kind of track before, I think. Um, I'm not quite sure what the symbol is. Looks like a lion or something, or is it an eagle with a crown on its head? Who knows? Um, is that Scandia? I'm not sure, actually. Uh, perhaps we learn more about that later in the game. Uh, for now, we are heading for United Kingdoms, and we are going to Cambridge uh, with sawdust panels. Uh, it said it should be oversized cargo. Was it? No, that was the other one. That was uh, some other cargo. Oh, listen to the sound of this car, man. That was nice. This sounds like a real truck. It's gotta be a Scandia. Well, that was very nice sound on this truck. Man, I liked it. Almost sound like a truck freak now, don't I? Well, I'm not. But I can hear the difference between some sewing machine and a real machine. So, this had a quite distinct engine sound to it. Here we go, leaving Amsterdam. We're heading, oops. Those red lights are spooking me out. Uh, we should again have enough fuel. There doesn't seem to be those um, hired uh, jobs I get. It seems like those trucks are always loaded with a uh, proper amount of fuel to complete the job. So unless I make uh, huge mistakes and get totally out of, off track, I should be good without refueling. Can I do this? No, I can't. But it's too late. Ooh. Well, I drove on yellow. I've been fined for, fined for yellow before, but... Perhaps a little bit forgiving in Amsterdam, who knows? They are forgiving in other ways, so why not on the road? Although, most Dutch people, when driving, I've been driving in Amsterdam, in Utrecht, and uh, other, other many places in um, Holland, and uh, I must say, I find the way of the average, uh, average. Dutch driver to be quite wild. They have scared a, they have scared me shitless. Shitless. So you gotta have nerves of steel to drive in those big cities. Speeding offense. Yes. Okay. While I'm at it, it's my way to pay back. <laughs> Now well, the um, sit uh, situation I refer to is especially um, a few times I've been driving in cities down in Holland. Uh, the aggression towards me have been caused by me not actually knowing where to go. So I have been uh, worrying a bit back and forth between lines, and I haven't made any dangerous situation, but. Um, I've been going a bit slow to make decisions, and then behind me, they are lining up and hunking the horns. So it's quite stressful. Wow, an airplane, was it? Was that an airplane? Yes, there's an airport over there. Hmm. 
That was an airport. Sadly, we won't see much of that down here. So, make it cheap, please. Well, that was risky. Um, as this is not a flight sim, we should focus on the road, actually. There was an airplane, too. Ah. It's a pity. This area should have been taken in daylight. Nice details. Well, this time in Holland, I have scared myself, so... I guess that makes me... Even, kind of. Here we are in Rotterdam, and I guess that is the city where the ferry ferry lands and leaves. didn't like that fine for for speeding because that's 550 euros and that may be so much that we actually I actually have to take one extra job to get my own truck that is a pity but well it's a bit into the future anyway so Let's not think about that. Europort. Here we come. I can't remember. I think I've been there once before. Uh, with my other character. But I don't remember how we got to the... To the ferry. I guess it's... Fairly easy to find out. I was a bit confused. I can remember I was... A bit lost the first time. Oh, look here. It's a bridge, is it? Yes. Damn, this should have been in daylight. It looks nice. It's a huge molo or something. Perhaps. No. I don't know. Probably just some sand dunes. Oops, this is gonna be tight. This is a weakness in the game. Uh, the cars coming from the left into the main lanes, they are very often going very slowly. They're stopping, total, completely stopping. Uh, the, on this occasion it seemed to go quite well and realistic. But I've seen on some occasions they... They... Uh, gather up in a tight row of cars and trucks and... They seem to get almost stuck there. So, for me, as the gamer, it's quite important to pick the right lane early, so I don't end up in the back of that line. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Ah, here... this was much simpler than I could remember it was, but... Where's the ferry? Are there no ferry here? Enter to view possible destinations. Uh, are we going to Hull or Harwich? We are definitely not going to Hull, we are going to Harwich. So, there we go. Across the ca channel. Uh, eight, 
it said it took eight hours. I think that was quite a long ferry trip, but okay. Now there is one very, very critical thing. Uh, first, I have to get the right direction. I should go this way. And the other critical part, not only going the right direction, but I should stay on the right side of the road. Meaning, the right side here is the left side. Not the right side as we are used to. You saw what I did there? I hope so. Well, anyway, it's um, kind of hard, get hard getting used to driving on left side. But um, I've done it a little bit, so they usually don't make too many mistakes, but they happen, definitely. I expect them to happen at least once while we're here. The OC speed limit is 30, that is 30 miles. Meaning I can go in approximately 50, a little, a little above 50, I think. Or is that a little below? I'm not sure. It's probably a little below 50. But uh, we are going to take it fairly slow here anyway. Those roundabouts can be quite dangerous. AI cars can come in here at high speeds and ram you. Oh, that was smooth. I was almost taking the trailer behind me, I was almost taking the boardwalk, the sidewalk, I mean, the sidewalk, but I only touched it slightly. So here we come, Great Britain. It was Carlisle, wasn't it? Let's check them, check the map, just for fun. Cambridge, was it? Carlisle is far up north. Cambridge, that's a short drive. Perhaps they should actually uh, just stay in Britain and play in Britain for a while. Or I could make it random. Just try card if the card is black I choose a European mission if it's red I stay in Britain yeah that can be a solution so and perhaps that's also a good way f to pick uh, missions later on also just use a random kind of way to do it so I don't get forced into anything Although it would be quite boring to do the same missions over and over, so I would avoid that to do similar similar trade routes several times. That wouldn't make any sense. So my hope is that I will be able to always pick a destination where we haven't been before. And if I go to a destination I've been before, it should be from a departure point where we have taken off from before. So we'll see how I solve it. But I think randomizing would probably be effective and make it quite fun and unpredictable. So I don't follow a kind of plan. Because that can become a bit boring. So far. Ah, there we go, another speeding offence. That's a nightmare in England because... <coughs> because it's... Whenever you... Go at 90 kilometers, as is the normal speed in Europe, there are different limits here. So, you should stay within 80, not 90. So... 
I should use cruise control, and I did just. Push the button C, and we're on cruise control. That is convenient. Looks like I'm taking off now. The gas is a bit more... The diesel is a bit more expensive here than in Europe. Uh, the best prices on diesel you get in Eastern Europe. In Poland. As that is probably the only... Czechia is also there. So... Poland and Czechia is the best place to to fill fill up your your tanks. And now I'll just I want to see. I have 14 hours remaining f of this job, so it was well well within limits. Uh, I think I should uh, change lane quickly. <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it? Wasn't it? And here we see the thing I mentioned in an earlier video. You see the second car in front of us? That is a Range Rover, I think. You don't see those in Europe. Uh, on the continent, you only see them here. At least as far as I can remember. There might be other cars also here that you don't see elsewhere. Elsewhere, I think that one in front here. I wonder if that is a kind of Aston Martin copy or something. I'm not sure. Here, M11 to Cambridge. That is also a car you don't see elsewhere. Um, if I decided, I could, I could um, stay here until I get money for a new truck. And if I stayed here, I could make it. I could order a truck with a left-handed wheel, uh, a right-handed wheel. I mean, of course, uh, I won't do that because I'm most convenient. I'm most used to going with uh, with steering wheel on this side, but. Um, at this moment, when we are we're just on hire, we will um, get a British steering wheel in Britain. So we will get the right-handed steering wheel on our next job, no matter where we're going. That's just the way it is, and it's um, it might be a good thing to get used. To. Here you see that line of cars I spoke about. I had some kind of warning that told me when I should go slower because keeping track of the speed signs that is really really hard somehow like in real life uh, experience that is hard in real life too but here is even harder Getting closer, should be half an hour away, meaning three, four minutes in game time, or uh, three minutes approximately. should just calm down or should I go past? Yes, I go past. 
was a cheeky move. Oh, we're going down here, so now we're taking it slowly. So here we come, Cambridge. It's a bit laggy again, I wish I knew why. Because now I think I've done all I can about the lag. So we'll just have to live with this for now. I really like the sound of this track. It sounded like a, a real one. 60 miles. Well, that was surprising. This close to town. Sunflower fields. They are everywhere. I've never seen this many sunflowers in real life, but it's pretty. So I'm not complaining. 30 miles, that means 50 kilometers or so. Cambridge discovered. There's a pedestrian. There's not many of them around, although I have ticked that option. I guess it, if there were even more pedestrians, I suppose I would have even more lag, so I guess a few pedestrians is a good thing. And I'm not sure, should I go on this side or the other side? I think it is... Let's have a look. It's gotta be over here, yes. Come on, go, go. Here. I use the directional blinking just in case. So here we are. The trip is over. We managed. We only got good work this time because we damaged the goods. Remember by the airport in Holland, that wasn't a good move. So that cost me 231 euros and 19 experience points. That was bad. But I'm not perfect. So there will be more mistakes. This isn't the last one. But anyway, we're here. We did it. We did it. Looks like some more email for us? No, it isn't. Um, then we got to do our next job. We still doesn't have money for making any investments. <coughs> so what we do then, I go and find Cambridge. Cambridge. And then I just use this deck of cards. Take the sixth job. That is not Cambridge, that's Tuesburg. So then we get Cambridge to Grimsby. That's our next job. Because it's one, two, three, four, five, six. As far as I can see. 
So dry milk again, we're going to be specialists on carrying dry milk. So we'll do that to Grimsby too. Oh man, we're at the farms. Okay, as you see, on the wrong side of the car, or in Britain, the right side of the car. So I'm gonna stop this now and um, have a trip around the farm. Then I'll be back later to make the drive. So thanks for now. Take care. Bye bye.